Niku says, hi all, I have an uh, education tenant and have around 600 Teams classes created for language courses. I would like to reuse those 600 Teams classes by cleaning up existing data like student data, OneNote, SharePoint, et cetera. It should be as good uh, as newly created Teams class after cleanup. Is there any way to achieve this? So that's interesting. So there's so having so many of these teams, you want to be able to reuse those. My concern is that scrubbing all that data, uh, and I don't know what where Niku is based, and with all of the uh, you know the PII you know concerns, any any kind of personal information, anything that would just cause problems if you it would got left behind if you missed that. My first thought of this, and I don't know, and I'd love your 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 thoughts. My first thought is that, well, for each of these, you could go and use that existing team as a template to create a new one, and it'll automatically create that without all that data. So it'll you know, adhere to the template there. The other side of that is you could build a provisioning process if that's the structure that you want. Build that so that you're it has all the components that you need, has all the shared resources that you need, but then it's a new fresh site every time. Uh, I was thinking template too. Uh, that was my thought. Go ahead. Interesting scenario. The first thing that came to mind for me are all of those uh, team conversations that may have happened between other students and you you can't scrub that. Can't right. We re, can't reset a conversation. So you're going to have that carry forward, which is dangerous. Uh, in the in the EDU space, you will have uh, a provisioning engine available to you called School Data Sync or SDS, and that'll talk to your your student information system or your SRS. And, and that can do a lot of this provisioning for you. But I think I imagine the challenge in this this situation is is posting those resources or those assignments or those other class uh, assets to those different 600 teams. And, and I wonder if there's maybe a, an easier way to link to it. Maybe you centralize some of those 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 yeah. assets into like a another team or another SharePoint site. Assuming they're safe to be, you know, accessed by all of those different students, but 600 plus 600 teams plus all of the students that might be in there, like we're we're getting into scale, and this is where uh, the EDU stuff is a bit different than your traditional Microsoft 365. So, um, unfortunately, I don't think you're going to be able to repurpose those teams. Teams, I think you can re re potentially repurpose or find a, a, a more optimal way of sharing those assets that are required for it. But unfortunately, this, the, this, the end of term or start of term, there's always going to be some type of maintenance required. This is a classic. Uh, you think of it for like the citizen development uh, uh, scenario and the governance problem around that is that, you know, like this person has gone and created 600 different teams around there and it fit the purpose, I, you know, but going to the point that both Sherry and, and Norm have made, you know, architecturally, they didn't start down that path with the idea that it was going to grow to this and then what I'm going to do after and reusing them. So it wasn't built in a way to optimize for that. So I think it, you need to take a pause here. Uh, I think, you know, create templates, create some automation around the provisioning of the new sites, centralize those shared resources that need to be there. So I think that you that you need to go back and look at this is just a, again like a if I go and create a flow or I create a simple power app that I'm just using and then somebody like my CEO says, I love that solution, Christian. I want everybody in the company to be able to use it. I can't just take what I built and it just be usable by by everybody. You need to think about what are the right ways to scale this? How should we architect this so that it's it's going to be performant. I know that's a made up word that Microsoft made, but it's going to perform well. Um, it'll be scalable for this need. And then I can, as I go and provision, I've got a new semester. You can automate, say, hey, create 600 new sites that are based on this template for each of these things. So you can automate a lot of that, but it takes planning and setup. 
Yeah, you know, and the other question, what the people that were in those classes, are they still needing that information themselves or they right. no longer have access well, to it? Well, that's one of the problems with wiping it. And to the yeah. point that Norm made, is like you're not, you can't wipe out the conversations, the chats and all that. They still have their local record. If they're still a student, yeah, then it still exists. Half of that exists. Yeah, that's a great point, Sherry. Most have to, my experience in education, most have to keep on the way that class looked at the end of the term for the, the career of the student. Um, and this question, I know I kept all of my term papers and everything to the point where my brother actually stole them re and returned them into the same teachers a couple of years later and they didn't even okay. notice. I'm like, okay, apparently my parent, my paper made an impression. It worked out but, for your brother. Yeah. Well, th <laughs> times have changed in EDU. They do a lot of like document scanning to look for plagiarism and whatnot. Yeah, but right. I will say about this, this scenario, is that it it represents an incredible opportunity for companies opportunity, companies opportunity. <laughs> we always talk about provisioning as we talk about provisioning all the time in IT you're talking about provisioning a site provisioning a team well that's a shell in this case the opportunity is provisioning the content and that's that's the real value of these class templates right it's like the classroom materials are there and you don't get that of any of the microsoft out of the box though I think it's interesting anyway. That's fascinating.